All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS Flexbox by building a photo gallery. Step 15. All right. So Flexbox has a main and cross axis. The main axis is probably the main axis is defined by the flex direction property, which has four possible values. We got row, which is the default. This is what this is in, uh, which is a horizontal axis with flex items from left to right. Then we've got row reverse, which is horizontal axis with flex items from right to left. So it would be this uh, picture at the end and then the last one at the front. And then column, which is vertical axis with flex items from top to bottom, so like it was before. And then column reverse, which is the vertical axis with flex items from bottom to top, all right? So it would be this one last and the last one first, right? So note the axes and directions will be different depending on the text direction. The values shown are for left to right text directions, right? So if the text was this way, uh, the values would be this way. So the last one would be here and the first one would be the other way, all right? Or on the other side. All right. So now we're going to try, diff pardon me, try the different values to see how they affect the layout, all right? So when we're done, we're gonna set an explicit flex direction of row on the gallery uh, class element. All right. So down here, we're gonna do flex direction, hyphen direction, like this. And uh, we'll start off with row, even though we're gonna, okay, we're gonna end with row, so we'll end with row. So we'll start with column, like that. And we see it's up and down like this. Now let's say column hyphen reverse, and you see this last one's at the front. All right, so now let's do row reverse. Row, yep, row reverse. And you see, what? What? Did I spell that wrong? What? What's going on here? What's going on here? Did I spell that wrong? Well, whatever. Anyway, so I guess, no, okay, look, look, look. It's down here at the bottom. Is it? What's going on? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whatever, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, so now let's change it to regular row like this. Uh, and there we go. I, I don't know why, did I spell it wrong? Reverse. Column reverse. Row reverse. Whatever. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we got it in row like this. Let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 16, and see you next time.